everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I like to change Layla's hair color in all of our princess photos. There's lots of ways to do this, but this is my favorite way and the way that I find works best for us. So here is our base image. Because Layla's blonde, she tends to have an easier time uh, with her hair color changing. Um, anything dark is a lot harder to change to light. So to start, I'm going to fix this piece of hair that fell out of her bun by using my clone stamp tool. There we go. Next I'm going to make another layer and I'm going to use my brush and pick a dark brown color. So that looks, that's a pretty dark brown. From here, I'm going to play with my brush and I'm actually going to brush on the dark color to her hair. And this is going to look quite funny as we go along. This obviously looks very ridiculous. So now we are going to play with the blending modes. We are going to go to soft light and see how that looks. Oh, that's actually not bad. I kind of like that. Soft light, we have hard light, which could work. Ooh, that might be the one. Um, let's see, we'll try overlay. Nope, that's not gonna work. Screen, also not gonna work. Lighten. Lighting's not gonna work, I don't even know why I'm trying it. Darken? Yeah. All right, so let's go back to that hard light because I actually really liked it when we go to a lower opacity. So I'm gonna lower that opacity to, let's say, 45 right now. I'm gonna take my blur tool, the white brush, and blur those edges because I can see that there's some. So this is going to blur the color, not blur the hair, not blur the details. And this is just to get a better, a better blend. You can also see I did, I'm going to have to fix this. I, I colored over her ribbon, which I don't want to do. There we go, that's looking a little bit better. And this is just kind of a quick idea as to how to do it. So that's our, that's our little base right there. Um, I'm going to fix up some of these little pieces here. Let's take my, our eraser. You could also do a layer mask with this. I'm not going to for whatever reason. All right, so now that I've fixed up some of the pieces, just to get a little more depth, I'm going to uh, use a dodge and burn on the highlights of her hair. From here I'm going to flatten the image and I'm actually going to I want a more um, auburn color for Layla's hair, so I'm going to actually do that process one more time, picking more of a, a ready, ready brown, black, and just doing another layer at a very low opacity. And there we are. That's how to change a blondie to a brunette in Photoshop. Before and after. Before and after.